चैप्टर वन न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाई डू ऑर्गेनिजम्स टेक फूड आंसर ऑर्गेनिजम्स टेक फूड फॉर ग्रोथ गेटिंग एनर्जी मेंटेनिंग बॉडीली फंक्शंस रिपेयरिंग डैमेज बॉडी पार्ट्स एंड फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल सेकेंड वन डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन ए पैरासाइट एंड ए सेप्रोट्रोप आंसर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द पैरासाइट एंड सेप्रोट्रोप्स हैज बीन गिवन थर्ड क्वेश्चन How would you test the presence of starch in leaves? Answer: The presence of starch in leaves is tested in the following ways. Take two potted plants of the same kind, keep one in the dark and the other in the sunlight for some time. Take one leaf from each of the plants, put a few drops of iodine solution on each of the leaves. The leaf kept in the sunlight will turn blue black due to the presence of starch. The leaf kept in dark will not turn blue black. because of the absence of starch fourth question give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants answer the green plants have chlorophyll in the leaves the leaves use carbon dioxide and water to make food in presence of sunlight this process of synthesis of food is called photosynthesis the equation of the photosynthesis has been given Fifth question. Show with the help of a sketch that plants are the ultimate source of food. The sketch to show the plants are the ultimate source of food has been given. Sixth one. Fill in the blanks. A. Green plants are called autotrophs since they synthesize their own food. B. The food synthesized by plants is stored as starch. C. In photosynthesis solar energy is absorbed by the pigment called chlorophyll D During photosynthesis plants take carbon dioxide and release oxygen gas Seventh one name the following First one a parasitic plant with yellow slender and branched stem answer cuscuta Second one a plant that is partially autotrophic answer insectivorous plant Third one the pores through which leaves exchange gases answer stomata eighth one take the correct answer cuscuta is an example of the correct answer is parasite b the plant which traps and feeds on insects is the answer correct one is pitcher plant nine match the items given in column first with those in column second column 1 and column 2 are matched 10th one mark t if the statement is true and f if it is false first one carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis answer f second one plants which synthesize their food are called saprotrophs answer f third one the product of photosynthesis is not a protein answer t Fourth one solar energy is converted into chemical energy during photosynthesis answer t 11th one choose the correct option from the following which part of the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air of for photosynthesis answer is stomata 12th one choose the correct option from the following plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through their correct answer is fourth one leaves 13th question Why do farmers grow many fruits and vegetable crops inside large greenhouses? What are the advantages to the farmers? Answer: Fruits and vegetable crops are grown in large greenhouses because it protects crops from external climatic conditions and provides a suitable temperature for the growth of the crops. Advantages to farmers while growing fruits and vegetable crops inside greenhouses are it protects crops from diseases and adverse climatic conditions it protects crops from wind and rodents if you like this video please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video with your friends thank you for watching